I just got these things out of the freeze dryer. You see that over there, the door's hanging open in case I gotta put stuff back in. And the little window here at the bottom, it's waiting on me to tell it if it can shut off and defrost or if I need to um, restart it. So I have celery, I have chick chicken and turkey uh, bone broth. Well, it's got some meat in it, I'm gonna make uh, bouillon out of that, powdered bouillon. I have sour cream, these um, are yellow peppers, these are blueberries, and these are yams, or sweet potatoes, whatever, with nothing on them, they're just cooked. So how you tell if they're dry is, yes, I've washed my hands. Um, you like, see how it powders like that? It, what you do is you feel to see if anything's cold or wet. If it's cold or wet, it's not dry. These are dry. Um, this broth, I don't know about, so it's partially dry, but I don't know if it's all the way dry. So basically, I just like to go through, just look, yeah, it's not dry, it's not done. There's still some wet spots, you can't, yeah, maybe. If you look, you can't tell. But anyway, it's cold. It's cold right there. So that means there's still, yeah, it's really cold there. So that means there's still some moisture in there. So what I'll do is I'll just bust this up. One. Like this over here is dry. This part feels dry. Um, but I don't want to take it out until it's all ready to go. Yeah, that's really cold right there. It's still icy. So that's how you tell if it's ready. So this has to go back. This can be bagged up and sealed. And then I have sour cream here. Um, that's... <laughs> That's definitely dry. These were, I put them in little cubes and froze them and then I popped them out here. So I have these little cubes when I need them so I'm not wasting sour cream. I have yellow peppers. And again, let's go through. I throw these into stuff so I don't care if they're busted up. But you can be gentle with them if you want to. Ooh, boy, you can smell them. Um, yeah, those, those are dry. And they have blueberries here. Because they have natural sweetness in it, they can get a kind of a funky color to them where the sugar pops out. Can you see that right there? See how it looks kind of weird? <laughs> That's because the natural sugar has been come out of it and it's settled on it. But you know, that one's dry. Usually i got to put these guys back in. Or these were fresh picked by the people over at Pickwick Farm, so I've got some over there. But this, you yeah. These feel dry, they're, they're popping like, like that, so it's, they're still a little sticky where they're from the sugar, but they're, they feel dry to me. And then these are the yams or sweet potatoes, and again, these have natural sugar in them, so you can see the white on there, and they, they look funky because it pulls the, it's freeze, it freezes them and then it dries them in a vacuum. So I put these in in a big chunk, so I really didn't expect them to be done, because I feel like they are. Surprisingly. Okay. I'm just gonna, no, that's not done. I'm gonna powder these and just put them into like soups and stews and stuff like that just to get some extra nutrition. Yeah, these are definitely not, can't, yeah, maybe you can see, can you see that there? It's still, you see the texture, it's not powdery, but it's ice cold. So these aren't done either. So what I'll probably do is just um, put them all back in for another couple hours. Um, break this up into smaller pieces, break this up into smaller pieces um, so that it can continue to suck the moisture and dry the moisture out of them. And then I'll put them in uh, mylar bags with an oxygen absorber um, and seal that up. And then these can last up to 25 years and they only lose about a couple, like, I don't know, up to maybe 5% of nutrition compared to canning and stuff where you lose a lot more. And these can last up to five, uh, 25 years if they're dry and packaged right so there you go okay so since I wasn't done with the food here um, the ones I did uh, I just stuck it back in here this is the turkey I broke that turkey it's got it's gonna be powdered so it's gonna actually be like a bouillon so with actual turkey in it imagine that and no preservatives um, so I broke that up into little pieces so that the ones that are mainly it was in the center that are um, that weren't done still cold that they'll have more exposure so that the air can be sucked out of them and you can actually see back in there see that little ice ring straight back in there that's where it's sucking all the water out of this but anyway since I'm not done that little thing so it, it's waiting on me so I don't want I want more dry time so because it's not they're not dry they're not done yet so I just put my little I don't think they come with those pillows anymore back in there seal that there's a drain thing over here this thing right here you got to make sure the water you want that shut or it won't pull a vacuum so I shut that back up 
And then I come over here and hit more dry time. My, that's the, the valve. That was that valve that tells you to shut it. So I did. And then uh, continue. And it, since this has been running for quite a few hours, the wetter stuff is, the longer it takes. And it doesn't take that much electricity either, um, even though it runs a decent amount of time. Um, the wetter the food is, the longer it's going to take. So, um, brain cramp. <laughs> so in 37 minutes, this, this vacuum pump, it needs to cool down. So that's all connected. Um, but anyway, so once that cools, once that pump cools down, this will just automatically kick back on, pull a vacuum again, and it'll it'll start doing its thing. It's that easy. And if you're not ready for um, your food, like say you're at work, it'll sit and wait on you. Just it just holds holds the food. That was my concern. It just holds the food it, as it is. And then when you get home, you can come over and take it out of there and do your get it packaged up and get it done that was that was my concern was that um i'd get home or I'd go be at work and i'd quit and then i'd be like oh crap all that food's gonna go to waste because i wasn't there that's not true they build in harbor stride has built they're a great company they build in a lot of safety issues i guess as far as your food goes so as far as that goes yeah I, when i get home i just turn it off check it and then if it's done just shut everything down and vacuum my food and or package my food and we're good to go